is going on, everyone? We are back in our career with Trey Cash, quarterback of the New York Jets. Before we get into our game today, we are going to spend some XP. We've got 3,700 XP, and I am going to use that to help and improve our situation just a little bit. I'm going to put one point into debaggercy just to help that out a little bit up to 86, and then I'm going to put another point into throw on the run, and that is going to earn us plus two to our overall. We're now an 84 overall. We had 261 yards, three touchdowns, one interception in the game last week but this week we have ourselves a very very tough game we are playing the pittsburgh steelers here in week five it has not been the greatest start to the season the jets kind of being the typical jets a little bit but we're going to try and turn that around here as it's matt forte on second and two with a very nice run as he gets out to the 50 yard line now first and 10 we're going back to forte and once again he is going to pick himself up some yards five yards for him on that one he's got 23 on three carry second and four now it's going to be trey dropping back looking throwing in that one a horrible, horrible throw as I tried to lead the receiver. Not that much as we pretty much threw it right to Mitchell. And he is going to get a pick six. And that is the last way we wanted this game to start as we are now down 10 to nothing after the Steelers picked up a field goal on their first possession. So now Dwayne Bowe coming back. He's going to make the reception here as Trey tries to rebound from that horrible pick. Now second and 10. It's Trey dropping way back, throwing. He's going to find a Nunwa and he is going to find a first down across the 50. Down to the 30-yard line as we're in business. Now second and four from the 24 empty backfield. Trey going to look, going to throw. He's going to find Safarian Jenkins. That had an opportunity there to be a first down, but he kind of stumbles and falls his way backwards out of bounds. And now third and three, trying to keep this drive going. We're going to find a receiver. It's going to be Dwayne Bowe once again, and he is going to turn it upfield down to the 10-yard line. And we're on the doorstep here of the end zone. Can we cash it in, though? Trey, Brandon Marshall, yes we can. Brandon Marshall with the touchdown. And that actually, I believe, was his first touchdown reception of the season. So we get the score back to 7-10. to 10. The Steelers are going to respond with a touchdown. So it's back to a 10-point game, but we're not going to stop. Anunwa with the reception there. Now third and six, though, as we're just shy of midfield in the second quarter. And we're trying to keep this drive going. And Trey going to step up here, and we're going to go for it. Sliding close to the first down. We are going to pick it up, though. So second and 12 now from the 50. Trey going to throw. He's going to find Akeem Nix. And it's the older guys, Nix and Bo, who are coming up huge for us in this first half. Now third and four, though. Again, another third down. Can we convert once again? Yes, we can. And it's Dwayne Bo having himself the best first half, the best game let alone the first half he has had all season. Now first and 10, Trey play action, dropping back, facing pressure. We just get it away, and that is going to end in incompletion. We had the receiver downfield. I believe that was Nix on that one that cannot come down with it, but now second and 10, it's going to be Trey looking, and once again, we're going to take off here. We got some room, and we are going to slide again, staying smart. We do not want to take a hit. We fumble it way too easy, but now third and four, and this one is going to be a false start penalty, so a third and four, a manageable third down turns into third and nine, and then we get another false start penalty. So the Jets, as I said, being the typical Jets here, now third and 14, we're dropping back. We're throwing down the middle of the field, and it's going to be a noon well, wide open in the middle of the field down to the 15-yard line as the offense moving the ball pretty well here in this one, but the defense is going to have to get some stops. But here, first and 10, Trey looking. And once again, the Steelers leaving us all alone, and Trey is going to take it down to the four-yard line. Career high in rushing here for Trey, 23 yards in this first half. Now second and goal. We're going to make a last-second adjustment here. Everybody's running slants, and Trey is going to find Hakeem Nix for the touchdown, and it is going to be now back to a three-point game, and we are able to stop the Steelers. So three points here, minute 36 to go in the first half. We're looking to take the lead going into halftime, and Trey continuing his scrambling ability. And the perfect game to do it as we're going up against Ben Roethlisberger, the QB that we molded Trey after. And now first and 10, it's a halfback screen. And Matt Forte able to somehow sneak down that sideline without stepping out of bounds. And he's going to have it down inside this 25 now with under a minute to go. And Trey stepping to his left. He's going to throw to Anunua. He is going to get a first down inside the 10 once again. We have all three timeouts. We'll use one here. So 30 seconds to go, second and goal. Trey looking for a touchdown. Can we take the lead? We have somebody open here. It's going to be Hakeem Nixon. He has the touchdown, and the Jets are going to have the lead as we head into halftime. 21 to 17. We have the ball to start the third quarter, and we're looking to add on to this lead here. And this is going to be Trey finding Quincy Anunua. 
beating his man out there on the edge. William Gay cannot stay with the speedster there, and we're already down to the 28, but it is now third and nine as we have faced ourselves with a lot of third downs today, but looking to convert, we're going deep to Brandon Marshall, and he almost brings that one in. It is just going to be knocked out of his hands. As you see here, Aaron Colvin making a very, very good defensive play as he doesn't even really get a hand in there, but just kind of forces the pressure there, and now it is going to be back to the Steelers with a chance to tie it, but no, Ben Roethlisberger going to be sacked there to end that drive, so we get the ball back. Great field position as well, and it's going to be the fullback Mooney with it here. He's getting the first down on second and 11 as Trey, three touchdowns. 239 yards passing one of the better games he's had all season now here he's just going to drop it down to Bostic the backup tight end he's going to take it down to the 15 as we are right back there in the red zone we have spent a lot of time here in the Steelers red zone now second and 10 it's Trey throwing quickly and Unua another reception this guy having himself a game Probably his best game of the season. Now third and four from the nine. It's Trey looking, throwing across the middle. And this one forces the pass there. We tried to get it into Brandon Marshall. It just was not there. We get the field goal. So 10-point game. But here the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger are coming back. Final minute of the third quarter. And it is going to end with Le'Veon Bell. Is he going to get the touchdown? Yes, he, well, actually, I don't know if he got the touchdown. It just kind of showed touchdown Boswell with the extra point, but it is now back to a three-point game. We're in the fourth quarter here. Trey going to step up, makes the throw, and Quincy Anunwa again with another reception. Trey approaching 300 yards passing. We've been pretty pass-heavy in this game. Not a lot of Matt Forte on the ground as we go back to the air, and again, we're back to Anunwa as Trey now very, very close to 300 yards, and look at Quincy Anunwa. Seven catches for 128 yards today. We need to get him a touchdown, though, here hopefully in this fourth quarter. Now first and 10 from the 32. It is a handoff to Matt Forte and he is going to be stuffed in the backfield. Loss of four on the play. He has just 35 yards on 15 carries. Now second and 14 from the 36. It's Trey looking to throw. Moving to his left. Going to face some pressure and he is not going to get away from that one as Casey Hayward comes in for the big sack. He flew right in there from that right side. Now third and 17. Can we pick this one up? Probably not. Forte is not going to make anything happen with that one, but... It is going to get us in field goal range. We will make the field goal, and the defense will get a stop. So it is a six-point game with eight minutes remaining. And look at Matt Forta here on second and six, breaking a couple tackles. He's out across the 50 to the 45, and we now have it second and 10. It's going to be a throw here from Trey under center, dropping back, looking quick. Throw, it's Brandon Marshall, and he's going to get close to that first down. Just a yard short, though, and this is where we're at now. Third and one, looking to convert Matt Forte up the middle, and did he get it? No, he did not. He gains no yards on the play, but you know what? Fourth and inches, why not go for it? We have been screwed too many times already this season, and that, that may, well, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. As we are stuffed on fourth down, the Steelers have it back, and now they can take the lead, and please tell me we're not going to get screwed out of another win here. Second and 16, he gets sacked. It's a pass to Antonio Brown, now third and four. It's going to be a two-yard pass, so fourth down here. This is your game, and they don't convert, and finally... The football gods have looked down upon us graciously and given us the win. We hold on to it, 30-24. to 24. The Steelers, that was not the team I expected to pick up a win against, but we will take it all day. What a game for Trey. We have the same amount of rushing yards, both teams, but the edge in passing, we did throw the pick, but it ends up not costing us the game. Trey goes 30 for 42 for 318 and three touchdowns. Roethlisberger, 22 of 32 for 219 and one TD. So it looks like the battle of Roethlisberger's is going to go to Trey in this one. The running game, it is going to be a Mr. Matt Forte with just 50 yards on 20 carries. Le'Veon Bell, 18 carries for 92 yards. Trey Cash, 7 carries for 41 yards. You will not see him running the ball that much and getting that many yards very often. 5.8 yards per carry. Receiving Quincy Anunua, 7 for 128. Martavis Bryant, 11 for 87. Ladarius Green, 4 for 51 and a touchdown. Brandon Marshall, 6 for 47 and a touchdown. Antonio Brown, just four catches for 41 yards. He did not feature really at all in this one. Dwayne Bow, three for 41. And Akeem Nick, six for 40. And two touchdowns for the big guy as he helps us out greatly in that one to get the win. So we are two and three in the season. And we move on to week six with a game against the Cardinals. And I know I've been saying it for the last couple weeks, but man, the Jets' schedule to start the season is an absolute barrage of top teams, top defenses. I wish I would have looked at their schedule before I gave them as an option to pick from for Trey to play for, but either way, this career so far has been an absolute blast. Every single one of these games has been an absolute battle. Those, to those two wins 
where hard-earned wins have the settings perfectly tuned in this one that every game, I have no idea going into it whether we're going to win or lose. I can't wait to maybe face a little bit easier competition, but still, that is exactly how I wanted this to be. I don't want to be blowing everybody out by 30, so the games so far have been exactly what I've been looking for, and hopefully you all have been enjoying it. But that is going to be it for this one. Cardinals next time. If you enjoyed the video, please go and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it, and subscribe to see any feature videos that I make. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.